Hi everybody, today we're going to be going over net present value calculated with a Texas Instruments TI-84+. Plus. Now the process is going to be pretty much the same with a uh, TI-83, TI-83+, plus, and a TI-84 because, well, the Finance app doesn't really change. So you should be able to do this with all the other platforms as well. Let's just jump right into it now. Uh, our problem is our, our, we have a discount rate of 9%. Uh, we start out paying for the project fifty four thousand dollars and then we're going to get uh we're going to get uh cash flows once a year for the next three years and those three years are going to be the expected cash flows will be twenty one thousand fourteen thousand and twenty three thousand four hundred so how what what's the net present value of all of that and as you can see down here I've already calculated it out it's going to be negative four eight eighty one How did we get there let's go to the calculator. So, we've got our calculator, and we're going to go into our apps menu. We're going to use the finance calculator here. As you can see down here at the bottom, number 7 is NPV. That's we're going to, what we're going to be using. We can just hit 7 and go straight into it. So, what's the formula? The formula for NPV uh, on, this, on this finance calculator is going to be the discount rate, how much we spend, uh, then how much, we, uh, how much the cash flows are, and then how many periods there are per year. And everything is going to be separated by commas, so we're going to be hitting this little button right here a lot. Let's go with our uh, let's go with our formula here. So 9%, we're just going to hit our 9, and then we're going to separate that by our comma. The next part is going to be how much we spend. Now, it's very important that you don't confuse this subtract button with this negative button. If you use the subtract button, you will get an error at the end, and it won't be very descriptive, so yeah, good luck with that. All right, so we'll start with our with our negative button here, and then we're going to say how much we spent. That's fifty-four thousand dollars, and then comma to go to the next section. In the next section, we're going to be putting in all three of those uh, cash flows, and we're going to put them into curly braces so that you know the calculator knows that everything is in in there is is the same thing. So second, and then right here, this little blue curly brace right over the opening parentheses. And now you can see we have our curly brace. So we're going to go with 21,000, separate by a comma, 14,000, comma, 23,400. And then we'll second and close the curly braces and separate by a comma once again. Now this next part, we're basically just going to be saying how many periods there are per year. We're going to go simple and say that there's one per year. Now we will have to put in a one for each corresponding year. So we'll hit our, our second here, and we'll start another curly brace, and we'll do one, comma, one, comma, one, and then second and close curly brace. And that's it. Hit the Enter key, and we've got our answer. And the answer in this case is negative 4881.331615. And that's the whole process, guys. It's real simple. So just do that, you know, five, six, ten million times, and, uh, and you'll get it. All right. Well, thanks for coming to the channel. And uh, obviously, if you like what you saw, hit subscribe. This is kind of a general channel. So, uh, yeah, subscribe for all kinds of crazy stuff. All right. Peace.